next up in the workshop, we're going to get a little cursed. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. We are continuing to work on Redhead from Few and the Cursed by Rock Manor Games. So we've done quite a bit. We've done a lot of the brown outfit on her. Uh, we've done part of the face. The face has actually turned out a little bit nicer than I thought, but we're going to do a little bit of highlights. Uh, we're going to pick out the... Today we're going to try and pick out the brown belts uh, right around, you know, here, her gun fighting belt, her knife, and whatever. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and do that. Uh, so some little bit little bit of finicky detail work, and then and then we're gonna start the whole reason why she's called Redhead. We're gonna start working on her hair and on her scarf capey thing. I'm not really sure what you'd call it, but it's red too. So. Let's just jump right on into it. Uh, we are actually going to start with uh, the the red KP cowl thing, wh whatever you want to call it. And for that, we're going to kind of going to kind of going to go into a dark burgundy color. We're going to use one of my new favorite colors, Gal Vorback Red. It's been. Uh, been a mainstay of my of my one of my other projects uh, space marines from Warhammer 40,000 but that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about redhead so we're not going to worry about them maybe I'll maybe maybe I'll show you in a different in a different show so we're just going to take a nice big glop of the Galvor back red because right now it's you don't have to worry about being super tidy with it. And we're going to thin it out with a little bit of water. And then we're going to go straight into it. And I think I'm going to love the color. It's going to be awesome and amazing. So now we're going to, now we're actually starting in what actually gives her her name. Now we're not quite there yet because we haven't actually started the hair. But we will. And I've got a a neat color of red for that too. I've already thought about it. I've looked on uh, I've looked on several different paint apps as they were, and looked at different different shades of red. And the one that I found comes from the Citadel paint app. Which, you know, is funny because that's the paints that I use, is Citadel paints. What they call it? They call it Sinister Red. And I just kind of latched onto that. I thought that was kind of a, an amazing sort of, an amazing name anyway. So the reason why we're kind of doing, or I'm kind of doing a darker, a darker red for her cowl cloak thing is that I kind of want, I needed, to, I wanted the red, of course, because it is red, but I also kind of wanted to keep it within the, kind of the, I wouldn't say browns, but kind of, you know, kind of along the same lines that, you know, you know it's red, but kind of looks 
Mm, look, brown ish. Uh, we're going to turn it out and see how it looks. So, right now, I'm using my medium layer brush just to do the what I call the rough and tumble stuff. And then we're going to switch over to a slight more refined brush. Probably my Citadel small layer. And we can start getting into the Excuse me a second. Studio Cat is playing at my feet. My little princess. And she's playing with some stuff that she shouldn't be playing with. Clean my brush. Real quick, because we're switching over to a smaller brush anyway. I want to try and take away what you shouldn't be playing with. So you'll have to excuse me for a second. There. All done. And now my attention is focused back on you guys and on the miniature. So like I said, again, we're going to go to the small layer brush. doing that so that I can get into you know, around the shoulders and all that good stuff. She's gonna turn. She's gonna turn on looking good. I think. So we're done with that color for the moment. Anyway, we're gonna come back to it in a little bit. We are, however, gonna give it a wash of Carolberg Crimson. There it is. Ha ha. You know, you'd think by now I'd know where my cameras are, but from time to time, I completely forget where they are. So Carolberg Cur Crimson, uh, what it's going to do, it's going to kind of up the up the red a little bit more, and it's also going to settle into the recesses and help me give, help give me some shades. But what we're waiting for the other stuff to dry, I'm going to stare at my paint paint board just for a minute try and figure out where the, the next color is and the next color is lead belcher and the lead belcher is to pick out the, uh, the belt buckle and some of the bullets that are on there Because as a gunfighter with a gun, you kind of need those. Uh, it's it's a weird thing. And now I'm going to go to my weird and fancy thing. So I can get in and see the details all nice and crisp. Now. Good of a point as I can. 
down. I'm going to pick out some of the details and silver. I've already picked out the bullets, or at least half the bullets, on the one side. Actually, I'm pretty happy with it just as it is. Now we are going to have to go back out and pick out some other colors and some other things. And we'll have to do the We'll have to do the belts, and we'll have to do the top of the the top of the bullets, which are brass. So we need a brass color for that. But for now, we're going to switch. Do a quick switch back. To my medium layer brush, and we are going to take the crimson wash. And we're going to give give her thing a bit of a wash, just so that we can make it pop a little bit. that dry and while we let that dry we're going to just pick out more little details here and there on our, on our girl wish to not spill that Just, I probably didn't even need this much brass. So we are literally just going to tap the tops of those bullets. There we go. That is that. And now it comes down to finicky details. How uh, much should we try and pick out next? Oh, right, the belts. So we're gonna go back in with the Morn with the Morn Fang Brown.
like so. I'm also just going to do upper and lower highlights with it. Oh, I mean, we, we darkened it down. Now we're just going to brighten it up a little. That's really all we're going to get. Some nice edge highlighting. You know, the bring those those little details out. And once we're done that, I'm pretty sure that the cloak is almost dry. But we can start working on parts of the cloak anyway. Um, I don't know, cloak, cape. I'm not really sure what it is. It's a short kind of half cape comes down to her comes down to her waist. Either way, it's red and it's kind of cool looking. So that's what we're gonna work with. Tolerant sands. That sounds good. Maybe. Not need much. It's all just highlight work. See, it's just about time for me to replace that one. Just about what I'm looking for right there. Just the smallest little highlights. Don't need a lot. I need to have a good camera, I think. Anyway. You can see me trying to focus it on the other one. That's, that's, that's cute. Anyway. 
seems to focus better if I use my hand. So, use my hand. And continuing on, so now we are going to, we are done with most of the browns. Those can go away. Now we're going to go back. And we are going to pick up, oops, the Galvor back red again. What we're going to do is we're going to just start picking out the higher edges and trying to leave the deeper recesses. That newer shade. Just like so. There's very little difference, which is okay. The differences will come in when we start actually adding the extra, the extra highlights in, which is fine. Start seeing or what you call it come to come into life. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to start the next layer of highlights, which is using World Bearers Red. <laughs> and now you're going to start seeing this thing start coming to life. Now you're just looking at a pot of paint. And a brush tooling around the paint. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start working again. And this time we're going to work on more of the higher elevations. Of the cloak. Ah, I'm just going to call it a cloak. It's easier. To... There you go. That's it. You get to see the. You get to start getting. You start to see the. Uh, you start to see it come to life. This is the parts, you know, that I start really liking. And you start with a blank canvas or a newly primed miniature. And you're just like, oh. Sometimes they can be daunting. Sometimes you're super excited to get into it. And 
And as you start to progress and keep painting, you just kind of like see that the um, it's actually starting to turn out really good. You actually begin to be happy with it, happy with how things are progressing on the miniature. It makes you excited to finish the miniature and see it in its finished and complete form. There we are. There you go. So you can kind of see the highlights coming together. And then we're going to move on to the final stage highlight. The final stage highlight is really just picking out the sharpest spots. On the miniature. Or on the cloth anyway. So you don't need a lot. And for this, I don't want a lot. I don't want a lot on my palette. I don't want a lot on the brush. So what I'm do. Basically, what's going to happen is that your, your sharpest points is where this is going to come into play. Now, on the front, she's going to have probably a little bit more. Just because it's a lot of folds. Find that the highlights are a little too subtle. You can always go back and brighten them up a little bit more. I'm going to go onto that front. There we go. And there we are, my friends. The red, kind of cloaky, cowly scarf thing of uh, red head is finished. We've picked out most of the small uh, details. Not all of them, but, you know, some of them. I mean, we need something for while well, we're waiting for the hair to dry. So, uh, sometimes the camera just works amazing wonders and focuses right in, and other times it doesn't. But you can kind of get the gist and see. So, when we come back, we will actually do what, she, you know, we'll paint what she's actually known for, and that's her red hair. So until then, stay safe, be safe, 
Uh, do everything that your local health authorities asks you to do. So if you still have to wear a mask, wear a mask. Get vaccinated if you can. Uh, so stay safe, paint safe, and we'll see you next time in the workshop.